Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here, back at you with a wet sold video. This is for week 35 of 2021, starting out with a couple sales. This little guy sold within a couple hours of me posting them. Posted them a little bit less on eBay and I posted them for like 13 on Mercari. He sold pretty much instantly. Someone sent me an offer of 10, then someone paid the 13 that I was asking. Next up is this guy on eBay, sold for $14. I paid approximately $4 for him at Ollie's, as you can see there. It's a pet toy, so a little bit of profit there. This little guy came, I think it was in a plush bag probably, but this is Muffin T.Y. Beanie Buddy, I think it's a proper name for him. Either way, or her, whatever kind of dog it is. But it's got some damage to the tags or whatever, but it still sold for $15. This shirt sold pretty fast as well. LSU themed purple and white striped shirt, polo golf shirt. It's by the brand Ping Double XL. So the Double XL helped, and then Ping is also a pretty good, uh, pretty good brand. This is something that I wasn't expecting to sell for as much as it did. But there was one car I don't even know which one it was now that actually made this value go up a decent amount. So this sold for thirty-two dollars for these one sixty-four scale cars. These were out of a storage unit, so. Really good sale there. So that's it for Monday sales. Here are the what solds for Tuesday going into Wednesday. About five sales, all on eBay. First up is this little Philadelphia Phillies uh, Build-A-Bear top. This sold for $8.99, so not a bad sale there. This Georgia Bulldogs plush sold for around $15. College football starting back up, and it's uh, Georgia Bulldogs. Another one of this one sold is Amber from Sophia the First. She sold for $11. Sold her before, sold her again. This is the best sale for today. This little Roy Oswalt. can tell easily because it says Oswalt. This is like a promotional thing they gave away. This sold for around $50. And then this little guy is the little poop cheese where the poop comes out of the bottom. <laughs> it's like glitter poop or something like that. I don't know. I found these in the dollar day at the deals place that I went to. Sold for $21, so not bad there. But that's it for Tuesday going into Wednesday sales. I only have one little measly sale going out today. It's this Jeff Gordon car. This sold for $20, so it's from a storage unit, so it's free at this point. So got a little bit of profit out of that. It'll have to ship priority, but still good profit. Here are the sales for Thursday going into Friday. It's only two sales. This Magellan shirt sold for $8. And this bear sold for $15. So sales have slowed a lot for some reason for the last week or for the last couple days. But hopefully they'll pick up soon. Here are the sales for Friday before the weekend starts. And this weekend's going to be crazy because we have a hurricane. Category 4 hurricane predicted right now headed our way. So by the time you see this video, hopefully we'll be out and in the clear for the hurricane. <laughs> but this sensational cinnamon apples... These sold for $10. I think I paid $0.50 cents each for them, so making a little bit of profit there. They should ship out first class. They'll weigh less than uh, a pound. This little guy is part of Finance at Freddy's franchise, Sister Location plush. Usually he has a hat. For some reason, this one did not. I'm not really sure why. It doesn't really look like a spot to detach it. Maybe right there. I'm not sure. But it sold for $11, and I disclosed everything in the listing. Also on eBay, this set of six My Little Pony Mashem, Fashion Mashems, however, whatever you call them. These little things sold for $24. I think I paid $0.50 cents each or so for these. And then I sold some more Mashems as well. On Mercari, I sold two sets of four. Two different buyers both bought both sets, and I wasn't sure where these were. Luckily, I had a stash of these somewhere else. But these are Looney Tunes Series 1 Mashems. These sold, like I said, for $15 each, and I paid $0.75 cents each. So making, you know, 6 or 7 8 bucks on each one of those, on each set of those. So some little bit of profit there, and a decent amount of profit here. But I'm going to go and get these shipped out for Friday. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to ship out Monday. We'll see what happens to this hurricane. There's no telling. Some, I mean, Category 4 is a very strong hurricane, so hopefully I'll have a video out Monday. And obviously if y'all are seeing this, then it made it out but if not it might be a little bit delayed and sorry if it is here are the what solds for the weekend this is a paul george card that sold for five dollars this thomas zadaransky card sold for a dollar this scooby-doo plush sold for i think like twenty dollars or so this little greeter 
Raphael Greeter sold for $37. Marshall sold for $12. This Tony Stewart shirt sold for $45, which is the best sale of the weekend. Uh, this little Peep sold for $11. And then this little Possum We Awesome sold for $20. So that's it for the weekend sales. I don't know when this video is going to get posted. I'm going to show some, like, three or four minutes of Ida footage. So if you don't want to watch Hurricane Ida stuff, then you can just end the video now. So I'm going to go ahead and technically end the video by saying bye and my usual outro but if y'all want to see some ida coverage then stick around so don't forget to leave a like comment below with your favorite sale of the week and subscribe or not subscribe thanks for watching everybody Take note of the setup I'm going to show you right here because in a little bit uh, it's not going to be there anymore. So this is the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. You can see that storage shed over there. It started out right there in my neighbor's yard. That's pieces of it right there. That's the door of it. And you can see my fence is completely pretty much done. On this side it's definitely done. Basically the storage shed flipped, flipped the fence out and then uh, kept going and wound up over there in the neighbor's yard so that's that that's the water down there that's typical anytime it rains here it's gonna do that it's gotten a lot higher than that before so I'm not worried about that there's their German Shepherd hey buddy so that is my house now I'm gonna go see this is the neighbor's fence it's also kind of a jar it's supposed it's technically supposed to be it's made that way so they probably just did it like that on purpose. This is my front yard. It's not too bad. Lots of roof shingles. Uh, the neighbor's got a tree, tree limb down. Let's walk a little bit. I've already done this survey once, so I know uh, <laughs> what's coming. There's a tree down up there. You can see their fences. There's the rest of the storage shed right there. And there's a tree down up here in the middle of the road. Or not in the middle of the road, but in the middle of the sidewalk. Just giving y'all a little glimpse. There's uh, some fencing down as well. And just that storage shed actually survived. A bunch of lim little limbs down. There aren't very many uh, big trees in my neighborhood. This neighborhood is built in... Uh, Basically, whenever Katrina happened. So all these houses, when they first sold, sold for a ton of money because of Katrina, obviously. People were trying to move here, and there was no space. <laughs> there was uh, not enough houses to house the people that were uh, evacuating for Katrina and actually moving here full-time after Katrina because they didn't want to go back. But there's probably rain on the lens. This phone's supposed to be waterproof. <laughs> it's a Samsung Galaxy S8. But, yeah, so... 
this storm was the worst one I think I've ever seen, that I've ever been a part of at least. A bunch of limbs down. These trees aren't that old either. These are Drake elm trees. Most of them are Drake elm trees, but you can see right here this tree completely uprooted, or not uprooted, but just fell over. Their yard has a lot of stuff in it. They have palm trees in there, so I guess I'm not sure how good those are. But yeah, I figured I'd throw this in at the end of the What Sold video for this week if the video actually gets put out. But I'm good. <laughs> so that's good at least. I'm pretty sure my family is as well. And there's the fencing right there for that house. And I'm going to stop it here.